Live, you're watching Fox 44 News first at 9, your local news leader. Up front at 9.30, a spotlight on Josh Howard, a man who has dedicated his life to serving others. From his work with the Baton Rouge Youth Coalition to the District Attorney's Office, Howard strives daily to improve our community. But following his major car accident last month, the script has been flipped, as Howard is now the one who needs your support. April 10th, 2019, a day Josh Howard will never forget. I was going four blocks. I got in the car after an amazing parallel parking job <laughs> and um, 200 feet away was where the accident happened. When Josh came to in the hospital, he learned he had suffered a fracture of the C2 vertebrae. I started to realize how serious this was of an accident because I felt normal with the exception of a broken neck. Reading that this was the same injury that Christopher Reeves had, you know, this is a called a hangman's fracture for a reason. But miraculously, Howard never lost feeling in his legs or arms, his nerves intact. He was up and walking within two days. And while his recovery has been a grind with constant physical therapy, his prognosis is favorable. If all goes well, then we're clear. We're good to go. This thing comes off. And then I'll wear a neck brace for two to four weeks and take things from there. Um, of course, things could change, and I may have to wear this longer than expected. Uh, but... You know, I'm just grateful, honestly, that this is the outcome. Monday night, friends and family have organized a fundraiser in Josh's honor at Bistro Byron's on Perkins Road. Josh admits the outpouring of support has been humbling. I feel affirmed. I feel truly affirmed that I've chosen people to be in my life who back up what it means to be a community of people who love you, who have great values, who support you, who are there with you, through everything. Through everything, and what a great positive perspective. Oh, yes. And Josh Howard is so great, is the man. We thank him for his time. Now, this was the scene from just earlier tonight at Bistro Byron's, a huge outpouring of support for the man that gives back so much to the community through multiple fundraisers and the Youth Coalition and the District Attorney's Office. Every day, he's just trying to impact other people's lives. He said it's ironic now that all these hundreds and thousands of people are reaching out to him mm -hmm. for his recovery and trying to make sure that he's okay. He's always helping. Like, I, I met Josh six years ago when I started right. working at the station. Um, I did a story he was giving back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, mm -hmm. and he always just has just this bright spirit, this bright light about him. And even when we saw him the day you interviewed him, right. It was just, he was still smiling. He was still Josh. It's just crazy how something like that can happen and he is still the same Josh. It's amazing when you think about challenging times for the tough people who can handle mm -hmm. the challenging times. And it's not going to stop Josh. He's very fortunate that it could have been a lot worse. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, he's walking and one day he's going to be running and working out just like he loves to do. So he's going to be just fine. All right. Well. Congratulations to Josh, and I wish him the best of luck. Absolutely. And now, let's send things over to Chief Meteorologist Jesse Gunkel. Yeah, again, I can agree, too. He's also an outstanding man. Again, he changed, really, uh, the perspective on everything here. It was pretty awesome to see how uh, positive he was. And again, for us, we're going to switch gears here a little bit, looking at your lawn cast. Things are looking good a little bit moving forward. We've got a lot of sunshine, dry weather. It's a very hot forecast. We'll talk more about that coming up after the break.